You know, I love eating vegetables. I love vegetables for breakfast. I love vegetables for lunch. Wow, that was so, so easy. Mmm, mmm. This is like a comfort food. Good morning from Bukit Tinggi, West Sumatra. I love this place. The food, the people, the landscapes, everything here is beautiful. I thought I'd only be here for a week, but I'm now entering my second week. Eventually I'm gonna have to leave, but this week I'm really gonna enjoy it. Another great thing about Bukit Tinggi is that there's also an office to extend your tourist visa in Indonesia. Now I have heard horror stories about extending your visa. Most people actually pay a visa service to do it because it's supposed to take a week. You have to go into immigration three times, but a lot of people have a lot of issues. However, when I talked to everyone in Bukatingi, they said, no, it's easy, three visits in a row and then you get it. And so I thought, oh, well, while I'm here, why don't I do that? Because I am still touring this region with Ronnie's tours. And Ronnie told me, he said, don't worry, we can stop off at the immigration office and then we can go do a bunch of things for the day. This is what I love about having a tour guide. It's kind of like you pay for a friend and that friend does everything for you. And so that's what we're doing today. Not sure exactly what we're gonna do, but Ronnie said, we're gonna head to the immigration office and then we're gonna eat some food. That's pretty much my plan for every day. And that's what makes Bukatingi so amazing. because this was easy but what I need to do now is I needed to have a an invoice from where I'm staying so Ling sent that over by WhatsApp another reason to have WhatsApp I need to write a letter to the officer to just to say what say why I'm staying and then they gave me that information and then I need to fill all of this out and you'll see it's also in English and everyone there spoke English too so so far so good all right on to the next step so I need to pay for it 500,000 rupiah which is the same fee as the visa on demand. All right, this was easy. So just around the corner, you just give them 500,000 and that's about $35, 35 euro, I think. And then you go back in and then we'll see what happens Ooh. next. Wow, that was so, so easy. So she told me after all of that, I think it was maybe an hour total to come back Thursday at noon. So that's in two days uh, and come pick up my visa and my passport. Wow. A few weeks ago, the president got really mad about the immigration process and the renewal of visas because it was making it too difficult for foreigners to stay in the country. And so they really looked at streamlining it. I heard that the visa process was three meetings, but I only had two. The first two, they took the money, took my application, but then also they took my fingerprints and I paid for it. immigration I had heard from so many people that you had to get an immigration service and I think really in places like Bali you do but here in Bukatini it was great I just I'm coming back in two days and I will have my visa extension as we were driving back into the city uh, Ronnie stopped and said do you want to see something really special yeah of course I do so we're trying a very specific and special dish from this region it is called nasi tingui daun I hope I pronounced that properly daun is actually this banana leaf here and this dish really reflects a tradition of taking food to go, the original way, the organic way. And so this is a dish, uh, primarily rice, so it's hearty, filling. And then you've also got some salted fish, egg, a little, actually a lot, a lot of chilies, and then you've got some eggplants. And so this is the perfect dish to go. You can wrap it in a banana leaf, and unlike something that's saucy, say a curry, uh, it holds well, the rice will hold well, nothing gets too soggy. We're going to eat it here, and it's almost lunchtime, so you can see people starting to come in, but this is actually really a dish where people take it to go so as we watch them put this together you had a lot of delivery guys coming and saying I want four I want five I want three people order it first thing in the morning and then you can have it for up to five hours so whenever you can eat is when you can have it this place is busy and then the really cool thing is I actually got to see how they are able to use these banana leaves so you do have to heat them up and then they become really pliable this looks so good also looks so spicy 
I love eggplant in Indonesia, especially in this area. You see a lot of salted fish. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything, a little bit of this egg, maybe not too much chili. Mmm, mmm. This is like a comfort food. Definitely spicy. I can feel that spice, but not too spicy. This is a dish you would normally eat with your hands, but when I opened it up, it was steaming hot. So I thought maybe this is not the time to practice eating with my hands. A little bit of the salted fish. Mmm. Fish is not too salty at all. You hear salted fish and you have terrible memories of anchovies, but this is really good. Now this is a really, truly local spot. So if you're gonna go to immigration, you're going to drive through this region. It is called Sawa Denka. And uh, it's just on the side of the road. It's a good reason to stop over, lots of seating, very clean. Ladies are so nice, very curious. This is a great stop. about pichau, which is a vegetarian dish in Indonesia. You have to come to Pichau Sekai. And that's because it's been around since 1949. It is known as the best spot to get pichau. You can also get a very special type of pichau here. Now, what it is basically, it's similar to gado gado and some other dishes. You have some egg noodles, might have rice, bamboo leaves, young bamboo, uh, tapioca leaves, coconuts, uh, different greens. The one thing that they have here that you can't find anywhere else is they actually use banana flour. So that purple flour that you find at a banana plant, you'll only find it here. And then of course we've got some crunchy bits on top. So we've got some trupo and then we also have some potato chips. In Sumatra, West Sumatra, I mean they love their crispy bits on top. Comes in a peanut sauce which is a little bit different than the peanut sauce you'll find in other places. And then of course you've got that coconut. Oh I see we've got some cabbage. Just lots of delicious vegetables in one dish. Mm. That's good. Mm. Oh, I see we've got some compressed light rice in here too. You know, I love eating vegetables. I love vegetables for breakfast. I love vegetables for lunch. Lots of delicious greens in here. Just a fantastic peanut sauce. This is so good. 15,000 for all of these veggies. This is a legend, a piece of history in Bukitingi. See them make it right in front of you and be prepared to wait in line because this place sometimes, when we first got in here, there was hardly anywhere to sit. Very lucky. So, so good. The banana leaf. Lama banana. All right, so I rarely finish a meal. In fact, I usually give it to whoever's with me, so uh, both Aidil and Ronnie have been eating a lot over the last couple of days, and I ate the pichal, and yet they asked me if I wanted to try lama tapai, and I didn't because I was full, but she brought some over <laughs> because she really wants me to try this. So lama is a sticky rice, and then we have this tapai, which is uh, a black sticky rice, and it's black because it's been fermented. It's supposed to be sweet. This is a dessert. You know, when somebody says you have to try something then you have to try it she put it down on the table so i couldn't refuse it so i'm just gonna put a little like this yeah the whole thing do i just put a little bit on top and then eat it like in one bite all right so it's a little bit of a rice on rice dessert Ooh. It's not sweet at all. The lama is um, almost like a, it's rice, but it's sticky and it, it's very compact. And then this, papaya. It almost tastes like a prune or like a date kind of juice, but it's rice. Mmm, mmm. This is really good. You know, sometimes when I say I don't want to try something and then I try it, you should never say you don't want to try something. You should always say, yes, let me try it because I don't think I've ever tried anything where I didn't think that was worth it. Oh good, I'm glad I tried that. 
I said this was interesting. As I ate that, I started to become even more interested in, like, how do they ferment this rice? And so what's very interesting about it is the dish that I had was non-alcoholic. She said, would you like to try the alcoholic one? So she actually went into the back. So this is fermented rice alcohol. They almost call it a brandy, they equate it to that. It almost smells like a red wine, like a really deep red wine. It tastes like a sweet red wine. You know what? I think I had something similar to this in Salatiga. I think I had a fermented rice alcohol that was sweet and red. It's very interesting, you should definitely try it. If you've had anything, any kind of fermented rice alcohol, this is very different. A little bit sweet, but very tasty. Almost like a nice after dinner dessert. It's a good dessert one. Mm. So the grandmother is here, not always working like she is today. She, she works with her daughter and often you'll kind of see her sitting because, you know, even when you retire, you want to keep busy. So she still comes in. And today we've been very lucky in that she's basically feeding us and forcing us to eat things like a grandmother would. Two days later, I went back to immigration and within five minutes, I had my passport with a new visa stamp for 30 more days. So easy. To celebrate, we went for massages. Like a good guide, he knew someone who was fantastic. So we went to his house. Ronnie let me see it first because it looked a little bit different than what I'm used to for massages. But to keep things appropriate, I kept my clothes on and I had an amazing massage. What a great day. Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.